Hey, good morning, Amy. So we're talking some holiday desserts here. <clears throat> I've got one that seems kind of complicated, but actually it's a little bit easier than you think. It's just, you gotta watch it a little bit. Plus, it uses a blowtorch, so it's fun for the kids. Uh, maybe not, but if you're adventuresome and want them to try it, I, if I was like six, I'd like to use a blowtorch. But at any rate, fun holiday dessert. The kids probably can't eat this one because it's a little boozy, but for the adults, it's gonna be a hit at your party. We're gonna make an Irish cream creme brulee. So to get our creme brulee started, we need to make our base, which for us, we're gonna use heavy cream, which I've got going on the stove over here. We've got about a half a cup of Irish cream. You could use whatever brand you like. We've got some different uh, sugars here. We've got our regular white sugar, which is gonna go into our essential custard base. And then here we have some turbinado or like sugar in the raw sugar that we're gonna use to caramelize the top for our creme brulee. So to get started, like I said, we've got some heavy cream. We've got about two cups of heavy cream getting hot on the stove. And to that, we're going to add our half a cup of Irish cream and half of our sugar, which should be about three tablespoons. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Well, while that's cooking in a bowl over here, we've got six egg yolks that we've already kind of whisked together. And to that, we're gonna add the other half of our sugar and incorporate that well. You gotta make sure you incorporate it well because if you were just to dump your sugar right on your egg yolks without mixing it well, you can run into a problem where your sugar and egg yolks are actually gonna crystallize and make these really kind of crunchy chunks of sugar and egg yolk that'll never really cook nor dissolve properly. So once our cream mixture with our sugar and our Irish cream comes to a boil, we're gonna take it off the heat, bring it over to our bowl, and what we have to do is we have to temper our hot liquid into our cold egg yolks. If we were to dump this straight in here and try and whisk it really fast, we're gonna run the risk of scrambling our egg yolks. We're actually gonna cook them and they're gonna look like tiny little sand grains of cooked eggs. We don't want that. So what we do is we slowly add with a ladle our hot cream to our eggs while we mix. And I put my bowl on top of a towel that's damp just to help it keep steady. So we're just gonna keep doing that until we bring our yolk mixture up to temperature. Now once you get about halfway done, you're gonna have eased those yolks into that kind of temperature zone so we have less of a risk of scrambling them. So then you can kind of go for the, the full gamut right here and just get those stirred in. Now what we need to do now is get our creme brulee mixture into some dishes that are in a pan for a water bath. So if you have like a casserole dish and if you have some nice, you know, ramekins or you know, a, a nice bowl that you would like to use for a creme brulee, go ahead. I use the soup bowls that we use here at Mahoney's because they're perfect for the size we need. But if you wanted something that was a little less uh, tall, something smaller, that's cool. So you just want to get it into a pan that you can fill with water. So we're just going to put our mix without splashing that much. I've had too much coffee this morning, I think. So we're going to fill up our bowls just like that. And once we get our bowls all full, we have to put some water in here to give it a water bath, something that's going to help it kind of bake in a more relaxed environment, let's put it that way. So you just basically take some warm water and pour it between your bowls right into a pan and whatever pan you decide to use. Now you're gonna have an oven that's already preheated to about 325, 300, 325 degrees. You're gonna pop those in there for about 40 minutes or so, and you're gonna know they're done when, if you look at it now, it really just looks like, uh, you know, eggnog, you know, slightly thicker than milk. You're gonna know they're done when you tap the side of it and you don't get that jiggle as much. It's gonna look like, almost like a firmer jello. At that point, you're gonna take them out of the oven and set them aside and uh, pull them out of that water bath. It's gonna be hot, so you might need some oven mitts. Pull them out and then set them in your fridge to cool overnight and then they're gonna set up nicely like this. So it's a nice kind of thick custard. So what we're gonna do with that turbinado sugar, or the brown, the uh, sugar in the raw, just put some on and then shake it around so it covers the top. So we've got just a nice layer compared to that one. We can see the layer of sugar. And then you can use either like a blowtorch you would get at a hardware store if you wanna go the real crazy route, or if you go to like a, a supply store, like a Williams-Sonoma or something like that, 
and they're going to have like a micro torch it's called which about that big and like that and uh, it gets a nice perfect flame for doing creme brulees I have something that's kind of in between the big crazy one and the small one so you're going to get a nice flame on there and using that tip of the flame where it's the hottest you're going to start caramelizing your sugar but rotating the bowl at the same time because if we hold it in one spot we want to run the risk of just kind of burning the heck out of it and having a bad flavor of our sugar because we want it to caramelize and we want it to to melt but we don't want it to burn too hard so you just keep doing that and spreading the sugar all around and then you're going to let and let that sit for a little bit it's going to eventually cool and it's going to have a nice kind of hard candy shell on it that if you've done it the right way right before you when somebody eats it they can whack it with the back of a spoon and you're going to get these wonderful little shards of caramelized sugar that almost look like glass that's it i hope you have fun making it at home and you probably shouldn't let the kids use the blowtorch thanks amy